really tried to make 3D happen on the Game Boy Advance, didn't they? These developers were like a kid at Christmas who gets the shiny new toy truck. Never so excited about a toy truck than this shiny new toy truck. But then right away, the dumb little brat starts to use it the wrong way. They start trying to sit on top of it and then ride it. And guess what happens next? They break the toy truck. Just wait till next year, the Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. There are no shiny new toy trucks on the naughty list. Is what it is. I don't know. It's a 3D racing game on the Game Boy Advance. It's not as boring as one like Tokyo Extreme Racer Advance, which I've recently reviewed. It's not as good as one like GT Advance 3, which I've also recently reviewed. This one falls somewhere in the middle of a list that probably shouldn't exist in the first place. 3D racers on the GBA. Sure, they work technically. ET worked technically. They buried that fing thing in the desert. I'm not saying this is bad as ET or anywhere near as bad as E.T., but it's a game that, from a modern perspective, doesn't really have much purpose beyond, hey, look at our shiny new toy truck. There's not much to it. It's not much fun. Probably shouldn't have mentioned E.T. Every, every time you mention E.T., somewhere there's a fairy that falls down dead. Anyway, let's start with the good stuff. First off, there are 25 different Porsches to choose from, which is great if you're into por Porsches which is a really the hard word to pluralize, Porsches. Porsches, and there's also multiplayer. You can link up to four players, which is an easier word to pluralize. That is somehow if you have four friends with four GBAs who all wanna play Need for Speed, Porsche Unleashed. Seems highly unlikely to me. But then again, they did bury E.T. in the desert. With video games, anything's possible. The game actually runs pretty well in the GBA, um, especially the cockpit view which I was not a fan of. Seriously, who, who ever uses cockpit view? It's like riding a unicycle. We have regular bikes now, stop being a dick. Finally, the game looks pretty, um, looks, it's blurry and pixelated. Look, you're supposed to act impressed. That's how 3D worked on the GBA. <laughs> so impressive, pretend or otherwise. Well, the game's kind of thin, and I don't mean that it's been dieting. There's not a lot of tracks, and to be honest, they're not the most exciting to drive on anyway. Kind of cheap, too. Lots of 90 degree turns that just come out of nowhere that you can't see coming because everything's so goddamn blurry. Actually, even the game doesn't seem to see them coming sometimes. Either that or the arrows that signify upcoming turns. Just forget. Forgetful little arrows. But it does play okay. Not great, but not awful either, it's whatever. Look, it's a little bit bouncy as f and there's times when you slam into the wall and just boop, right back on the track. Then again, great, because if I can't see the turns, I should be able to slam into them without consequence. This is America Unleashed. You know, I can't shake the feeling when I play this that it's a lot more about the graphics than the actual game design, because to be honest, there's not much game design here. The tracks are kind of boring. The game modes are kind of dull. There's just single races. There's this lame evolution mode that strings them together. It's the worst career mode that's ever careered. There's some knockout races. Some, but it's little things too. Like sometimes the game doesn't even tell you what, what the name of the track is that you're on before the race starts. So you just, you don't even know what the names of the tracks are. You don't know what you're picking. It's like a lot of things were overlooked, maybe even rushed in favor of you know, putting 3D cars on the Game Boy Advance. Maybe in 2004, that was the right choice. Now it makes me want to choose a different game to play. It's not the worst 3D racer on the GBA, but it's far from the best. It's Need for Speed, Porsche Unleashed. Cockpit view, it's 2015. Poppycock pit view. 